we're live. All right. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Ocean Geographic Live. This is Micah Au, and we have today, we are speaking to Pascal. He is in Florida, and Alex Rose, our co-host in Chicago. Thank you. I used to meet, see Pascal every year in, in Antibes, you know? <laughs> Those were the good old days, yeah? <laughs> yes. I I'm sad I missed this. <laughs> oh, that is the best show on earth. It's the best <laughs> underwater festival on earth ever. And I, I wish you can bring that back. You know, they, you used to look so much forward every year, the last weekend of October, and I will see Pascal. <laughs> that does sound nice. <laughs> yes. And here is one of his original behind me. That's the visit of Oz. That's pretty great. That is very cool. Cool one. We have got Larry Taylor as Dorothy, uh, <laughs> Jacques Cousteau as, as, as the skinny man, and then we have got Teen Man and the, and the, and the <laughs> sea lion. The, the skinny line. man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Alex, take it oh away, Alex. Like, thank you. Okay, sounds good. Well, uh, thank you for everyone who is joining us this evening. Thank you, Pascal, for being with us. Um, just going to take a moment to tell everybody a bit about you, and then we'll get right into your presentation. So, everyone may know Pascal as the painter of blue. <laughs> He's the painter of the world's most recognized picture, the Matador, which is a really cool diver uh, with a red cape and a great white shark coming through, which I'm sure you know of. So, he is the painter of blue, uh, who paints uh, as a stage director and as well as on high backdrops. His paintings include the sky, figures, horses, particularly funny divers, allegories, architecture, Venice, and ancient ruins. All of his works are between hyperrealism and surrealism, flavored with humor. Pascal's paintings have been exhibited worldwide in more than 300 solo exhibitions since 1977 and in museums in both France and the USA. He's designed sets and costumes for many operas since 1986. Um, in addition, Pascal received the Diploma of Ministry of Ecology, Environmental Protection, and Nuclear Safety of Ukraine for his personal contribution on the cause of rising interest of people to underwater world and its protection, environmental protection and nuclear safety. Very interesting. So Pascal is currently living uh, and working in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, which he's been there since 2003. And I can't wait to hear more about what you've been up to, and it's always a delight to see your paintings. So it'll be a nice diversion from all of the craziness. <laughs> Thank you, Alex. Sure. Well, thanks for being with us. So whenever, whenever you're ready, I guess we'll get going. Okay, so thank you uh, first to Michael uh, and uh, Flo for having me tonight, uh, but also to have probably the, the last three, three, uh, last three three weeks, uh, some uh, very nice presentation during this pandemic, and uh, to, to allow people to dive in the underwater world without going uh, in the water, because we are all confined. Uh, I'd like also to apologize for my uh, broken English. You know, I moved in the US, I was uh, more than 40 years old, and uh, that was not easy <laughs> for me to get to get the language. And uh, OK, I wish to, to do it in French, but uh, anyway. Uh, by the way, uh, we don't need any language to pictures, and uh, my picture are uh, worth a thousand words, we can say that, OK? So tonight uh, we are talking about uh, the good people planet, and by the way, that will be my planet, and why um, they call me uh, the mentor of blue. Um, so let me start with this. Um, sure. Yes. So um, uh, maybe for some subscriber of Ocean uh, Geographic, they, they know my, uh, my work, and I had uh, this uh, very nice portfolio many years ago. And uh, um, I uh, knew uh, <laughs> Michael for many years, and I'm sorry <laughs> to put some very old picture of us. Uh, we have been very young sometimes. Uh, by the <laughs> way, I have no thing, no, no, no picture before 2004. Uh, That's a long time. <laughs> we are now. Yes. yes, when, yes. When, was, uh, when was it uh, when you met uh, your first auntie? Uh, I started going on TV in 1998. 
Oh, 98. Oh, yes. okay, okay. I, start, I started in 93. Okay. okay. Uh, Old timers, both of you. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So I have some, uh, some very nice picture with, uh, with um, uh, Michael. Uh, I would like to have some with uh, Alex, but uh, that's not happened yet. Okay. Not yet, that's right. Some, uh, oh, some, this one, yes. Some picture we made in uh, 2011 that was at the uh, uh, ADEX, I think. Mm -hmm. Yes, ADEX in Singapore. And I don't, uh, I don't remember this very nice actress. Uh, you... She's Miss Singapore. Yes, yes. Miss Singapore. Yes. Oh, yes. Yes. Miss yes, Singapore. yes, yes, yes. Yes, okay, okay, okay. yes Jessica. And, yes. Uh, you see, I uh, I bought my T-shirt with this uh, with this uh, <laughs> nice uh, uh, logo I designed at this time. Okay, uh, I, I'm also very uh, honored that uh, for the last uh, four or five years uh, I had one of the category of the pitch uh, of the year uh, mm -hmm. name uh, to, uh, after me, and yes. uh, I'm yes. judging I, I'm judging very nice picture by the way. Uh, of course, it's uh, very subjective uh, the way I see the underwater world, you know, as a painter. So maybe it's, uh, it's very subjective. So it's, it's, that doesn't mean that those pictures are the, the best of the world. But for me, in the selection you gave to me, that was where really the, the best one. But I think it's a great thing to have this uh, competition. And uh, if I can uh, serve you for the next few years. Yes, uh, yes, for sure, for sure. We do it very ni nicely. Thank you, uh, thank you again. Of course, let, uh, of course, uh, if some, if my name is uh, the, saying something to, to you, it's because of this painting I made in '93, uh, the Matador, and uh, who have been uh, published in many, many magazines on T-shirts and uh, different uh, merchandising. And um, uh, recently, I have been collaborating with a company in France of Champagne, in Epernay, uh, doing some uh, bottle caps uh, in limited edition uh, uh, coffret. And every year, those pictures uh, and bottles are sold at the Paris Dive Show in Calgary. Oh. So it's a nice uh, way to share also, you know, our pictures. And of course, uh, champagne, there are bubbles and uh, then the world, we have too. So, so it looks it, like we need to start, to start, start collecting them. Uh, <laughs> yes, by the way, you know, today uh, you can find those caps on, uh, on eBay. Uh, <laughs> it's more expensive than the, the bottle with the champagne. <laughs> and, you know, that's a pity <laughs> because the, the champagne is very good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, so my matador is very has been very successful, you know, I was very uh, happy to do this picture in 93, you know, many years ago. And uh, some people took it, you know, in a, sh a shark festival to do it uh, on the floor. Uh, some people um, uh, steal it to put on murals, uh, like this one on the right mm -hmm. side. By the way, I made also some uh, version you know, uh, on this big uh, window and also this nice lady. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's really, it's really, the, uh, it's really my signature painting. Mm. One day I was very, yeah, one day I was very surprised uh, at the Paris Dive Show. A uh, guy came to me and said, uh, you know, uh, you changed my life. So I was a little bit afraid. And he, he removed his t-shirt to show me this, uh, you know, this nice tattoo from, uh, from my artwork. And I have also two or three other guys who use my painting to make tattoos, you know. That's very strange, but it's great, you know. It's good. If they are feeling good, it's okay with me, you know. Also, this matador, I put it in my painting, you know, the painting <laughs> inside the painting, sometimes. You know? uh -huh. sometimes I put the, the matador in the... Because I like to play with pictures, I like to play with words. You see it here? So that, that, so mm -hmm. let me talk about uh, me. So I was born, uh, you know, I was born in uh, 1958 in uh, France, uh, Fontainebleau, a little city next uh, to Paris, where I grew up, mm -hmm. uh, where I went to school also. And by the way, uh, I was uh, mostly interested with um, physics and math mathematics when I was younger. 
Uh, and uh, at that time, uh, you know, we have no computer, we have no TV. So our parents were looking for some activity, you know, after school. So they sent me very quickly in a music school. Uh, and I started uh, playing uh, violin at uh, three years of old. Uh, but when I was 12, um, you know, when the sound of uh, the violin is bad, it's very bad. So uh, <laughs> when I was 12, I said, uh, no, no, I, uh, that's not my way. Um, <laughs> that's, uh, so they have to find something else. And uh, as I was uh, drawing all the time, you know, as every kid, they sent me to uh, uh, evening school uh, to uh, to learn how to to make sketches and to paint, and uh, that was uh, you know if I was looking for uh, something, uh, I find uh, I find my way. That was uh, really when I was twelve. I knew that uh, I would become a painter and. Uh, that, that was also the year when I discovered the artwork of Salvador Dali, you know, the surrealist painter. So at uh, 12, 14, I knew that I will uh, become a, a painter, uh, not really a painter, you know, for, for walls and uh, house, <laughs> but more mostly uh, a painter of, of, uh, on the easel, you know, to, make, to make pictures. And by the way, you understand now uh, how uh, the spot came to the Blu-rays, huh? Right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. A little bit later, when I was, uh, I got my uh, driving license. The first thing I uh, I, I made uh, with my uh, mother's car was to go to the ocean, uh, still 200 kilometers from uh, where I was born. And I went to the West Coast because I was always attracted with water. Always. I will explain it uh, a little bit later. And uh, I went to Normandy, the West Coast, uh, where you see a lot of cows and uh, horses. <laughs> uh, it's uh, many, many horses, by the way. Uh, I don't know if you know this. Uh, Normandy, it's uh, West, uh, West mm -hmm. Coast, you know, next to the Tite Niche. Okay. Uh, and it's a breeding, breeding uh, country, uh, very green, a uh, lot of rain, but it's close to the ocean, and uh, there is also some play polo players, so that was uh, oh. a nice for me uh, to, to, uh, to do some of my work. And by the way, I made a lot of uh, painting with horses, because, you know, mm -hmm. I study, I study um, uh, uh, very classic thing, you know, so the mm -hmm. anatomy with the muscle and everything. So uh, uh, horses are, are, were a very good uh, sample where you can you can play with all the light, you know, the light and the muscle and everything like this. So I made a lot of uh, painting with um, horses, but you can uh, you can see already that uh, there was a lot of uh, blue there. You see, no green. Lots of blue. No I'll green. <laughs> okay, no green. Unfortunately, no green, no green in my painting and no green in my pocket too, you know. I'm, a, I'm kind of a starving artist. <laughs> I'm kind of a starving artist. But also, you see, I, I, I made also different other kind of uh, paintings. Um, allegorical, um, surrealistic, uh, many things about Venice. Uh, because it's uh, it's a place uh, where uh, the sky and uh, the sea are uh, putting together. I made a lot of Greek temples, uh, architecture, and uh, well, different things. Different things, always with, you see, big background of, uh, of blue sky space, and uh, always blue. Uh, one thing happened uh, when uh, I started painting, it's uh, that I opened my own gallery in uh, Normandy, where I moved uh, very quickly because I, I, I wanted to be close to the ocean, you know, to put my feet in the water very, very often. So I opened my own gallery there in, uh, in uh, Normandy, but I was still uh, doing a lot of uh, round trip to uh, Paris. Uh, because uh, I was still uh, going to the university. Uh, and I, uh, you know, 
I went to the university for the for art. I'm not sure I learned a lot of things because I, I had a, I learned a lot by myself before and since to, uh, since I was 12, I had a very good teacher, very old lady who, who taught me uh, all what I knew. But uh, by the way, you know, I started to go to the university, uh, in, uh, decent degree, masters and everything. And uh, finally, I, uh, I got a PhD in art. And my, uh, my PhD was mostly a dissertation about the correspondence of, between uh, the different uh, sorts of art, uh, music, painting, uh, choreography, uh, stage, and everything. And uh, I took sample in the set design. And because I got this PhD, I met a lot of directors in, uh, in Europe, in different uh, opera houses. I started to make some uh, set design for opera and also a uh, costume you know, for, the, for the opera. And uh, that was a, a, lot, a, lot of, um, a lot of work. I, I love it. So you see that my background of, as a musician was still there. And uh, I, uh, I wanted to mix together uh, my passion for music and also for, for painting. When I was working on stage, uh, you see, it's not underwater, OK? Because uh, I always thought that um, my work on stage was a teamwork with a director, with a light designer, with a musician, with, uh, with uh, actors, singers. So that was always something we made together. That I didn't want to put my painting on stage. That was no sense for that. You know, that was always a piece of work made by uh, many artists together. And that was exactly what I was um, uh, try to explain during uh, in my dissertation for my PhD. But the funny thing is that when I was uh, working on stage, uh, one day I was inside the, the playhouse uh, working with my set, uh, light designer, and I was looking at the stage, and that was uh, about the Flying Dutchman by uh, Richard Wagner. It's a story of uh, shipwreck, you know, uh, mm -hmm. uh, ghost, uh, ghost wreck. And uh, I put the curtain on the stage. And during this, the afternoon, the musician came to for rehearsal. And uh, of course, they went in the pit under, under the stage. So I just got the idea of a diver, musician divers in, in the <laughs> water. So also because uh, many things in my, in my paintings are play on words. And uh, this big instrument, you see here, uh, this big instrument, it's a subasophone, a trombone, and we call it a tuba. And in French, the tuba is a word for, for snor uh, snorkel. <laughs> <laughs> so you see, that was a play on word with the snorkel and the tuba. <laughs> wow. And uh, you know, many of my paintings are like this, you know, uh, it's a word and that gives me the idea for a painting. And I'm not looking to do something you know, things coming to me, you know, talking with people or looking at something, seeing a sign, uh, listening to music. I got, you know, I got the idea. Well, and, um, and uh, my, really my work in the underwater world became at the Antique Festival. I told you that I, I opened my gallery in Honfleur in, uh, in, uh, in Normandy where I display all my paintings, the horses, the temples, um, and also a few divers. And one day someone came to my gallery and said, oh, oh you're making uh, divers uh, in painting? And you know what? Uh, we have a, a dive show in Paris, and uh, I'm the owner of an uh, underwater uh, trip agency, and I'd like to put some of your paintings there uh, on my booth. Say, so, okay, the deal, you know? <laughs> When you're a painter, you need to show your your, your picture. You know, it's uh, art is a it's a, painting is a, it's an art of communication. It's not only me doing something, but uh, uh, my paintings mean something only if you if you see it, huh? if you put um, your meaning inside. It's like it's like taking picture too. Huh? When you are making picture on the water, you do those picture for you for souvenir and uh, that. But you you need to share it with other mm -hmm. people, okay? 
So I went to this uh, Paris Dye Show that was, I think, 92. And uh, there, everybody were asking me, oh, but uh, we never seen you at the Underwater World Festival of Picture in Antibes. I have no idea there was an uh, uh, Underwater Festival there. And by the way, I knew nothing about the Underwater World. <coughs> and I started to discover <coughs> uh, this new work for me, doing shows, Paris Dive Show, where Jacques Cousteau came, uh, you know, with a lot of people around him. So I was not able to meet him. Uh, and I think that I saw it, you know, that was a tall guy. So I, I, I saw him, he didn't see my work. <laughs> but that's, that's, no, that's no matter, that's no matter. And then I went to uh, the anti Festival and I can say that uh, that was the jackpot. <laughs> that was the jackpot, you know. Um, I was something different in the underwater world when I came there because, you know, mostly the painter were making uh, some fishes everywhere, uh, blue, blue things. But I think I, I put something new. And uh, the first, since the first year, that was really, really crazy. Uh, Everybody came in, uh, who, came, who came there uh, asked me to, to go to their countries to make shows. So I went to Japan, to Ukraine, to, Mos to Moscow, to different other countries. And uh, then uh, I started to make a round trip to the US. You know? First, the uh, Digma show was, I think, in 98. And then I made a lot of shows there. Uh, so. I was uh, hoping to get some customers, but uh, that was mostly in my head. <laughs> I <couldn't see>. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, I can't complain. I can, you know, I can't complain. I, I have been very fortunate. Um, and by the way, of course, uh, even the, doing mini shows uh, in the world, uh, that was not um, the end of the trip. And I had not to, to rest, but uh, to continue to, to work. And that was uh, what... I wanted to do, and I was lucky to uh, to live doing only my painting. So maybe you can ask why I'm doing so many things in blue. No? <laughs> sure. So, so as I cool. told you, so as I told you, I was born in Fontainebleau. Fontainebleau is an historical city next to Paris with a beautiful castle and surrounded with a huge green forest. <laughs> and maybe it's my explanation, right? maybe it's not the right one, but maybe, you know, living there for 20 years, I've, I should have feel um, in a jail, you know, <laughs> in a green jail. And, uh, you know, uh, painting or making music or different, uh, writing, you know, it's always an expression to, to, to be you, really, really you, but uh, express yourself with... Uh, with uh, you know what you can you can use and for me that was painting and uh, the first thing I wanted to do is to make things blue and with a lot of space okay not really with uh, as you saw with uh, water but it, that was still since the beginning something important in my work you know putting water somewhere so I started to mix water sky, uh, space, um, underwater, and uh, very quickly I made these paintings. It's just too realistic, of course, but many divers told me that uh, that was their feeling when they are doing, uh, when they are diving. So I, I continue to, to mix together, you know, the sky and um, uh, the bottom of the sea. Also, I like to play with, um, uh, what can I say, um, paradox. You know, you see here, uh, it's the AV, AV and light, AV and light. You know, uh, the bottom and, uh, and the top, uh, water and uh, underwater. So I, I always like to, to play like this. Of course, one of the big things was to, to mix the space mm -hmm. and underwater. Uh -huh. Yes, and this was a good one. And I was fortunate 
uh, to chase some of the moonwalkers. And uh, you can see here uh, there is 13 of them who sign mine, my uh, my uh, copy of it. Uh, they <laughs> got one, great. of course, of course. And, but I was very that was very great to see some of the, those guys. And by the way, most of them are uh, divers, by the way. Yeah. And, you know, because they train and they train uh, here in Florida, for example, uh, to to get uh, acquainted, acquainted with the uh, quality things. So yeah, and uh, once again, you know, you see, I, I went to, to the moon, but also at the bottom of the sea with this uh, Nautilus, and uh, mm -hmm. it's funny because on this Nautilus, I uh, put the autograph of all the people involved in the history of uh, scuba diving and diving. You know, uh, Jacques Jules Verne, Leonardo da Vinci, mm -hmm. and uh, Francis Jacques Cousteau, even Sylvia uh, Sylvia earlier, and uh, mm -hmm. different other of guy. Uh, I think there is a early book somewhere. Uh, mm -hmm. well, Perfect. I always mm -hmm. wanted to mix uh, water in the water, like here, you see, uh, water <laughs> in the water, uh, water in the water, the shadow inside the, the, uh, the underwater, mixing uh, the, the clouds, which are water too, okay, are water, with <laughs> the water world, rain is water, uh, ice is water, and of course, Venice is my city, because when you walk in Venice, you don't know where you are. Even if there is some fog, maybe you are in the water and uh, in the sky. Yeah, that's really my city. Yeah, really, that's, that's my, my place. Okay, again, and, you're, and uh, unfortunately, when there is the Alpha Alta, you know, the Alpha Alta is high tide, mm -hmm. uh, it's maybe what will happen in the, in the next few years you know, with the raising of the ocean. So the question is, um, to dive or not to dive, no? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, it's always uh, you the know, question. Uh, that's a question, and especially for me, because I'm not a diver. <laughs> you know, I mean, Michael, no, no. You know, when I was there, <laughs> I had some, I had some, I had some tra trouble with my ears, you know. With, really? Um, uh, yes. Um, how would you call this, you know, uh, otitis, otitis? Mm, yes, yep. And uh, the, uh, it was never fixed. Oh. And uh, the, f the first time I went to vacation uh, to the ocean, I was maybe 11 years old, I got mm. this big wave uh, on me and uh, I had a three days uh, um, uh, infection with uh, blood and things like this. And, uh, you know, at that time, you know, we didn't care, blah, 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 and uh, they didn't fix it. So I was not really attracted to go deep in the water, you know, right. always going, you know, with my feet, swimming, and things like that. But I never fix it. And, uh, you know, after that, uh, you know, st uh, st going to the university, uh, starting uh, making business with my painting and everything, <clears throat> I had ne never the opportunity to go or to think about diving. My first painting mm -hmm. was done with divers, but uh, you know, from, from the opera. That was done oh. for, for doing diving. And uh, then I started to go to dive shows, and uh, people were asking that you are a diver or no? I know, no, I'm not a diver. And finally, it's better that I'm not a diver because if I was a diver, maybe I want, I would like to to make uh, the cows, you know, in a, in a, uh, eating in the ground or doing different things. <laughs> because I'm not a diver, I am I'm, I'm doing di uh, divers of my painting. It's my way to dive, okay? and also I know I know me. If I was a diver, I would spend my time in in the water. And no mm -hmm. time to, to paint. And uh, <laughs> it's not easy to make a living, uh, only to be only a diver, no? even for a big photographer. Yeah. So that was not the way. So no surgery for me, even with nice uh, nurse charts like this. <laughs> you, you know, you have to always to be careful with this little guy here, <laughs> which is uh, the surgeon fish. Uh -huh, of course, <laughs> and the yeah, nurse shark. <laughs> but but, um, but my story with uh, with water is not uh, finished, by the way. 
uh, many companies uh, give me uh, dive gears, you know, they offer me dive gears. So like this one, uh, like this one, and we met an advertising that was in uh, Ukraine, and you recognize maybe um, yes. um, uh, Petron, huh? uh, Christian, Christian Petron, and we, we, we staged my matador, you know, doing this, uh, with this nice, uh, nice uh, dive suit. I still have this nice dive suit, but I never uh, use it uh, underwater. I made uh, I, I wear also the hard hat uh, costume. And by the way, uh, last January, I tried what I was looking for years because I still have uh, my, uh, no, you know, no, um, no, no clothing on my ear. So every time I go, or by accident, I get water in my ears, I have infection. So I was looking for this um, helmet, the Kirby Morgan S29, something like this. And I tried it uh, at the last Paris Dive Show where I uh, received a diploma uh, to be an underwater uh, guy. You know? So <laughs> I, I made my first real, my real first dive at the Paris Dive Show uh, in January. <laughs> That's great. Uh, so we have to think why I'm doing this, you know, why I'm doing uh, those divers. As a, and I'm not a diver, so we have to think about something as this figure. One of my explanations is that I was a shark in a previous life. <laughs> Very so possible. I, I'm, really, I'm really in the shark thing. Yeah, I love sharks. Maybe as, a, maybe as, a, as an artist, you know, the, the shape, the line is for me the perfection of evolution mm -hmm. of, uh, of the living creature. It's a perfection, billion yeah. years yeah. of um, evolving to make something perfect. So I'm really, I'm really on that. And uh, when I can try, you know, I can help with all the organization uh, making a. Uh, involved with the shark uh, wow. uh, conservancy. So I try to, to help as I can. I met, of course, you know, all the big guys in the, in the industry, like the lady shark, uh, Andre Hartmann, you know, uh, you know, uh, yes. Michael. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Valerie Taylor, or really yes. Yair, or in many shows like this. They always enjoy my matador. They are very kind for that. <laughs> <laughs> and then, um, uh, talking about shark, maybe we can make a break and I can show you some pictures about yes. uh, sharks. We, we good? Absolutely. Yeah, let's okay, do it. So let me check if it's working. Thank you. 
someone who is going to to the place you know with the easel to with a blank canvas to paint something you know everything is done in my studio it's my way to do it huh? you know there is different way to to express uh, uh, your art painting uh, the Van Gogh way uh, the, you know uh, the impressionist way and I'm, I'm not a really an impressionist uh, as I told you first uh, you know I'm making sketches uh, you know like a one one second ID and uh, I'm making a lot of sketches. I have maybe 10,000 sketches like this. Uh, they gave me the, the, the painting in my head. I see it on the side, I see the colors, I see everything. And then after that, it's a process, a long process, by the way, because it's oil paint. Uh, documentation, I, I take a lot of, uh, I'm, I'm looking for very accurate things, you know, to be um, mostly photographic. Okay. So I'm making sketches, um, I work on composition, and then I start with the canvas. Uh, and uh, you need to, to have 21 days between two coats of painting, you know, to, to be sure that your painting is going to last 600 years. Yeah, mm -hmm. well, we should be on more, I know, I know. But you know, <laughs> I, I, was, I was used to go to museum, you know, everywhere in the world, seeing those paintings made five uh, centuries before and still great because they were using the right technique you know? so i learned to to, to i learned the, the oil painting not the acrylic one or uh, you know different other way so it's my way to do it and i can't change it you know it's uh, it's my way to do it so it's a it's long process many hours in my studio uh, doing uh, several painting at the same time because uh, of course when you have to wait 21 days you are not going to uh, uh, yeah okay so i'm doing maybe sometimes 20 painting at the time but you you saw them on the sketches they are fi already finished they are already finished in my head after that it's a it's a process it's a technical process so it's not really an impression it's an impression because it's a one second id but uh, it's, it's not an um, expressionist way like uh, the uh, German guys, you know, the expressionists. Uh, we are doing something like this uh, in a few hours and we, they were making a painting. That's, that, that's the way it's working. And when you want to do something with, uh, you know, details, like a photo, like a photographic way, you, you can't do it in two or three days. It's not possible. Okay. Uh, yes, I'm, I'm getting older, so I need to put uh, some uh, uh, magnifiers on. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, with, uh, with, uh, with, the, with the glass, this too, that I did that. And uh, well, it's, uh, just, uh, it's uh, just a process. I have another video showing uh, one of my paintings about um, the skull and the lion fish. You have seen it, maybe, maybe somewhere. So that yeah. will show you. Um, let me show you a little bit how I'm working. Thank 
It's a very wonderful uh, creature, by the way. Mm -hmm. okay. um, mm -hmm. So, um, one part of my work also is to play with classic pictures. Uh, because I, I, I found it fun to do it, okay? But also it's my way to share some masterpieces of the past to new generations. And sometimes uh, people who are looking for something, they say, oh, I know, I like this picture. I said, you know, it's from uh, one of the best American painters, for example, the Ed, uh, Edward Hopper, the Night Hopes. Uh, but they, mostly they don't know that. Uh, so it's a, it's a way for me to share, to share that. So I'm, a, lot, a lot of my paintings are homage or pastiche or parody of different things that could be a painting like MC Escher here or the American Gothics uh, by uh, Grant, but also from advertising like this uh, copper, copper tone pearl, you know, right. with the little uh, dog taking the, uh, <laughs> the string. Okay. Now, I, I like also pl to play with um, composition. I like to play with uh, shape. Uh, it's why um, I'm not only a surrealist painter, I can say that I'm a conceptual painter. That could be very um, difficult to understand. Uh, but uh, when you, you're thinking about things, you know, we're making compositions, it's a concept first. It's not an impression, it's not an expression, it's really something uh, stage. Uh, work upon papers, uh, plan. It's a long process. So I like, I like to do that. It's my way to, to work. For example, you know, I, uh, I use a magic square with numbers. Uh, all those uh, rubber tubes have, have a number. And uh, if you add each, uh, you make the sum of uh, each line, uh, diagonal, and things like this, you, you get the, the same number. You know? uh, it was used for years, you know, in different cultures and things like this. I like to put uh, many meanings inside the painting, even 
people are not um, getting it. It's not, mm. uh, it's not a matter. But more things I can put on the painting, maybe I can touch more people. Okay? Mm. And, also, and also, people can give me also their own interpretation or their own story. Because it's the art of imagination. It's not only me. And um, I, uh, many times I have uh, uh, viewers who are saying, oh, I can't do that, I, I'm, uh, I'm not an artist. And, uh, I tell them, yeah, you are an artist too, because you saw something in my painting that I didn't put, for example, or you saw it. So you're creative too, you know? You don't need to have the skill to, to, to paint, the skill to make a good photograph, to make a good writing. You know? Everybody can be a creator, a creative, you know, a, can be an artist. Okay, so some of some of them are fortunate to make a living with it, and I'm very, very happy and very happy to do that. So you see, uh, that was a big composition about uh, you know, concept, and uh, all those uh, square were able to be put together. For example, making a, um, I think I have. Uh, something here, you can do that. No, I can't. I'm sorry. <laughs> so uh, before that, um, I was thinking I could mark it. So you, I can, I can uh, make a, a star, for example, who uh, making a meaning like the Sifirot on the right side. Mm. Or even on the bottom, you can read the city of Miami, you know, the M, yeah. I, A, M, I. So yeah, I like to play things like this. I like to do that in, in several paintings. So mm -hmm. that means that uh, when you see one of my paintings, uh, you can see it uh, many years later and find something else. <laughs> it's, it's, my, it's my way to do my painting, you know. Uh, sometimes you, you're making a landscape and that will be always the same landscape, but maybe. But it depends also <laughs> on the mood, because if you're looking at a painting by a turner, for example, it depends on your mood. I can see um, the, the view of death by uh, Vermeer, you know, 17th century. Every, mm -hmm. every time I see something different, okay? So, I don't know, it's my way to do it. Uh, here are some of my last uh, pictures I made uh, with different subjects. So you can see uh, where I'm, I'm working now. Hmm. Okay, something else I wanted to share with you is that um, inside my painting, as I said, I tried to put some meaning. And one of the good things uh, about art is that um, you share it with a lot of people. So if you, if you put a message on it, you, you, can, you can say something to them that will be, maybe not at the first time, but that, that will be kept kept in their mind to think about it. And of course, one of my big uh, concerns is about the environment, okay? Mm -hmm. Of course, as everybody. So I try to put things uh, sometimes funny, some, sometimes paradoxical, but that make people not only thinking that the picture is beautiful, but uh, it's also a way for them to, to, to think. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. So message in it, sure, yes. So that will, that will be about the water, of course, about the uh, shark thing. Uh, so I do it, uh, mm -hmm. I try to do my part, you know, with my uh, art. Uh, people, some people are doing it, making lecture, some people doing, uh, making film or making um, movie, um, writing. So, so with my own uh, expression, I try to do something. Also, I try to, you know, when you, you get older, you need to share it with the younger generation. So I have been involved also with uh, some uh, contests with kids, trying to uh, give them some awards, or trying nice. to, to work with them. Especially those very young guys, you know, mm -hmm. uh, and that, that's marvelous, you know, when I'm trying to, to work with those very young kids, you know, they're very young, uh, not yet, uh, well, you know what, huh? you know what. <laughs> and especially uh, the last few years, I have been able to do that in uh, different uh, 
far countries like um, uh, Malaysia or in Palau, and uh, uh, they show me things which give me hope. Mm. So that's because they, they are our future. No? So I hope to share what I can do and uh, to maybe to make uh, some of them uh, doing all the painting and uh, continues, uh, you know, to, 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 to take the torch and to continue for in, in the future. So I hope that was uh, interesting for you to, to know a little bit about my, uh, my path. And uh, thank you again to, to have me. Well, thank you. Thank you. This was fantastic. <laughs> so much fun. Let me see if we've got anybody with questions on Facebook. Otherwise, uh, we Pascal, should be about set. That was, yes, go uh, ahead. That, that is amazing. That's such vast imaginations you have got there. I mean, I, I know you, you know, you, you always have new ideas and, and, and so, I mean, you want to share some, what, what, what's, what's next? What's, what will be our next series? Um, um, well, everybody could say that uh, it's always the same painting I'm making, you know? No. No diver, <laughs> nothing. Uh, but I don't know, you know, I have, I have thousands of sketches there. So <laughs> and every day, every day I have a new ID. Uh, so I'm, I am in different series. Uh, I put every day a picture on um, Instagram. Uh, so that you can see what uh, I'm working on. And also it's a good way for me to put old work. So I try to make my catalog today. Uh, now we're getting, getting older, you know, I try to put things together. Um, so I'm working on different series, uh, that's true. Uh, one is mostly with some, uh, always the, you know, the red dots, like in the Matador, that was my signature, I would say, uh, you know, yeah. this red, red, red one. By the way, uh, why I made a, a, a red dot somewhere inside the blue things because I, I was looking at a painting by uh, Eugène Boudin, the mm. pre impressionist, you know, at the end of the 19th century. And uh, he was making a, a marine, marine landscape and also with a lot of uh, 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 characters, uh, with, uh, dress characters. His painting was mostly gray gray, no, a little bit blue, but mostly gray. And he was always putting a, a dot right in the middle or symmetrically, you know, this red dot was making a vibration of the gray. And, um, mm. you know, I, lo I learned this, or maybe that's, that's stuck in my head. And uh, when I was uh, working with the blue, you know, the blue background and things like this, or where the red dot came to me, you know, to make something uh, vibrant. That's why it's, why it's still there. And uh, well, maybe they will say that this is my signature. I, <laughs> I mean, I, I think I've seen a lot of your work, but uh, maybe just a suggestion, but you know, we, we have where, such a changing landscape of, of Antarctic and Antarctic. Maybe you could include the polar bears and penguins in the future of the work. Wow, I made I made many of them. I, I made many, many, many ice with uh, with penguins. Oh. I, have, I, I have a lot. Yes, I, I had a lot. I made a lot of them. Maybe I can put them together. I will send. It yes, to please. <laughs> it's it's great. And uh, you know the. Uh, ice is water, so you can uh, make steam or uh, stage something uh, yes. with the ice, and it's still water. Yeah. yeah wow. I, and, and also, I, I made one also with divers, followed by penguins into into paintings, and you 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 can reverse them. So oh, wow. the penguins oh. are following the divers, and the diver is following. Uh, uh, why? Because you know when you are outside the water. As a diver with the fin, when you walk, you you are walking as a pe as a penguin. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> yeah, and, and and I think one of the first idea when I use uh, the divers in my painting, that was to say, I was not familiar with diving at first, but that was the character, and I was thinking that uh, the man on Earth 
was not doing the right way, you know. <laughs> with, with, uh, it's, it's why I put things, and uh, it was um, working like this, and maybe some mistake, um, and we know the mistake we made, uh, you know, on, mm-hmm. on this planet. Mm-hmm. So maybe we were, we were not at the right place. So it's better to go underwater. Uh, I oh, wanted to share, to share also uh, something I learned from uh, Daniel Mercier, who always told me that uh, there is no border underwater. And uh, uh-huh. something that, uh, you know, I, I, I heard that very quickly, uh, in my, uh, very early in my life, and uh, that changed many, many things of how I see uh, human people. And by the way, when you are, uh, that was something that uh, point me, um, uh, Commander Taillez, you know, Commander Taillez was one of the musketeers with Jacques Cousteau. And mm-hmm. when they, I didn't know that guy, you know, I didn't know that guy, and uh, uh, he was looking at the painting, and he came to me uh, with his book, Aquarius. He opened the book, and he, he pointed me some sitting. And, uh, you know, I don't know why he told me that. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe if, if he, he felt something, you know, mm. a connection. Is that, yeah. that was saying that... Uh, uh, Whatever you are, black, yellow, uh, white, you know, underwater, there is no, it's only human. Uh, you know, it's either. And by the way, when you have this, um, this uh, suit, you don't know what it is. You know, no gender, no, no nothing. So I, yeah. I, li- I like this idea that we are human and on Earth. That, and, uh, well, that's my, my That's perfect. That's <laughs> I my like that. Yeah. <laughs> Like that's great the, the blue people society as i call it <laughs> that's right <laughs> just yeah. blue people you know, and, 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 and blue it's a very nice color you know it's um, mostly um, uh, most of the people like blue yes yeah so it's a it's a way to to put together uh, and we need to be together you know especially right now that's right for sure exactly well thank you so so much for sharing uh your work with us uh, is very inspiring, and um, mm-hmm. and your imagination just go wow and end up looking at at, at your work. <laughs> it's so much yeah. fun. Yes, always yeah. love it. I hope Thank to see you, you soon and uh, see you uh, next next exhibition. Uh, uh, well, I don't know. That should be a Paris Dye Show in uh, in January, uh, and then uh, beneath the sea in March. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm stepping a little bit down, you know, to make all those shows. Uh, I'm focused on uh, really to, to do uh, paintings. Uh, yeah. I have so many uh, paintings to share. So. <laughs> I've, I spoke well, to Daniel good. Massier about uh, doing a, a festival like this in, 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 in China. Actually, it was planned for this year, December, but yes. maybe it has to be next yeah. year. So we yeah. want to bring everybody back that, together yeah. and bring the next step, to, yes. to Beijing, you know? So yeah, you have to be there when it happens, you will let you know. Yeah, I know. Great. I feel like I missed out. I didn't get to do any of the Antibes <laughs> festivals, so now you need to make another one. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's of course so much, so, so much fun. So, so yeah. Much fun, so much fun. Yeah. That's and, nice. And we enjoy to have those all those people, you know, coming yes. from everywhere. That's the dining world. It's what I like. Even I'm not a diver. <laughs> <laughs> Still the Thank best. Thank you very much, and keep the, keep the good work. I, I will uh, look at the presentation, the next presentation, as I made previously. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you so, you so Thank much. You, Thank, you, Thank you, Alex. Thank you, Alex. Thanks. Thank you, everyone. Have a nice night. Bye-bye. Thank you. Cheers.